New tonight, the political battle over who's to blame for Cover Oregon's failures, software giant Oracle or Oregon State officials. It's now being fought in the halls of the U.S. Capitol. This morning, a scathing new report was released from a Republican-led House committee laying the blame for the waste of more than $300 million of federal taxpayer money on Oregon officials and the federal government's lack of oversight. NBC 5's Jennifer Elliott spent the day studying the report and the strong response from Democrats on the same committee. She joins us now live in studio with the details. Jennifer. Okay, Chris. And among the findings in this new report, Governor Kitzhopper's campaign staffers who were focused on his reelection bid had widespread and illegal political influence in official state business. Now the committee is calling on both the U.S. and Oregon Attorney General offices to open a criminal investigation and for Oregon's Attorney General to recuse herself from that investigation due to her involvement in a pending lawsuit against Oracle. The U.S. House Oversight and Government Reform Committee has released a new report titled How Mismanagement and Political Interference Squandered 305 Million Federal Taxpayer Dollars. We are Their year-long investigation into the collapse of Cover Oregon included the review of over 170,000 pages of emails and reports. Among the findings from Republican Chairman Jason Chaffetz's committee, then-Governor John Kitzhopper's campaign staff members interfered with official state business related to Cover Oregon and undermined the work being done to improve Oracle's failed health care site by manipulating the process toward healthcare.gov. His campaign people took over, essentially, the, the responsibility for Cover Oregon and tried to transfer the blame to Oracle. It was a political move. And so they did this and they sued Oracle for huge amounts of damages. And so now whether or not Oracle has to pay or the state has to pay is part of this lawsuit. Former Central Point legislator Dennis Richardson first began airing his concerns with how the state and Kitzhopper managed to cover Oregon years ago. It was the governor who handpicked the people that were going to be over this. We were scammed. Today, he tells NBC5 News that Oracle was only paid $240 million, meaning $65 million of the $305 million allocated to the project is unaccounted for. Where's we don't ice? know where it went. The, the er, that's why there needs to be an, an audit. Meantime, the ranking Democrat Elijah Cummings of Maryland offered a sharp rebuke of the Congressional Republican report, pointing out that the committee's chair released an unofficial staff report instead of an official one, which would have required debate and the approval of the entire committee. Numerous media outlets are also reporting Chairman Chaffetz has received thousands of dollars in political contributions from Oracle and the law firm the software giant is using to sue Oregon. It certainly is an embarrassment to him but it would only be a problem if the facts that, brought for, that are brought forward are incorrect or untrue. And as the political back and forth continues, one thing is clear. $305 million in taxpayer money is gone, and the blame game is continuing. Uh, we're trying to try this case in the, in the courts, but they keep kind of going to the media. And I know you guys need some attention, but that's not really the place to try your case. So, you know, we feel we have an excellent case against Oracle. Let's look past the wrangling and look at the evidence. In 2014, State Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum sued Oracle for failing to provide the Functional Health Exchange website. Oracle has also filed its own lawsuits against the state. Last year, Oracle's attempt to sue several of Kitzhopper's consultants was thrown out. According to the Portland Tribune, Judge Henry Cantor cost the suit because Oracle's work was fraught with bugs and that fixing it would have been costly. Several calls to Southern Oregon Democrats, including State Senator Alan Bates and State Representative Peter Buckley, were not returned today. A live in studio, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News. Jennifer, thank you. Former Governor John Kitzhaber released a one-page statement to Portland TV station K2 late today, panning the Republican report. His statement reads in part, quote, let's call this for what it is. The Republican staff doing the bidding of a multinational corporation which failed to deliver promised technology for Oregon's health insurance exchange, end quote. We have a link posted to Kitzhaber's full statement that's on our website right now, kobi5.com. And Oregon's only Republican representative in Congress, Greg Walden, released a statement on the investigation calling it not surprising. Walden says, quote, it is not often that a congressional committee recommends a matter for criminal investigation. Taxpayers deserve the truth, and if laws were broken, those responsible should be held accountable, end quote. To read Walden's full statement, again, find it on our website, kobi5.com.